Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Today, we're going to talk about The Coldest of Blood, Chapter 3 of the Red Star Rising Campaign by Gooey Cube. It's a module. Uh, I figured this would be a great thing to talk about, being that Halloween's right around the corner, to kind of explain what's going on. And I'll try not to be spoilery because there's a lot of really important story elements in this game, and I don't want to really spoil any, anyone's experience. But the, the idea is that from the, if you play the last two chapters, that you're part of a a carnival troop and you've been helped protecting them and uh, the surrounding area from all sorts of uh, monsters and crazy, crazy happenings. And um, you're starting from there and you're just trying to, let's just say that at this point, there's going to be a lot of divergence. <laughs> yeah, you know, now this going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be seeing more of the world outside of the carnival. You're going to see like haunted forests and, and uh, haunted uh, forts and scary dungeons and all sorts of really cool things. Um, and of course, this module has, it's just like the other modules. Uh, it's packed, packed, packed full of stuff. It's, I mean, this is, this is a heavy module and it contains tons of materials, um, handouts, cards, uh, books, uh, for your game. So with everything that they give you in the physical version, I had the PDF version and very clearly this is written and made by people who have DM'd a lot of games because it had everything a dungeon master needs. Like when you're looking through the guidebook prop proper for the player's manual, um, they have everything broken into nice paragraphs, things you need to know, like things that you read off or things that are plot relevant have a heading in different colors. So you're like, okay, I can drop down to the red section or drop down to the green section. And it's very easy to read. Um, and like you said, all the, the handouts, the cards, that's fantastic to have. So instead of you know having to scroll to the end of the book and find a stat block for some particular item, you got a little card and you can like hand it to the player or keep it for yourself. And it has an image of it. And it's, it's great. It's for someone like me who needs um, things color coded or put off to the side and handed over to a different player. So I, I thought this was a, a great module. It's very story driven, which is, which is maybe good or bad for Dungeon Masters, depending how, how they feel about that topic where, cause, cause it's, 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 it wants you to feel and, and, and react to certain story elements in the game. And if you have players that want to venture off and explore, that might be tricky for dungeon masters to to handle this, but there's, but if they like that stuff, if they like story, then that I think this is might be a really good uh, a game for them. Um, let me uh, open this up and show people what's inside when they get this. This is about like a forty, thirty, forty dollar module. It's pretty. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's it's really inexpensive for. I mean. I mean, that nowadays a module this heavy, like what, close to a hundred bucks, maybe, maybe seventy five. Oh yeah, that, that's why my eyebrows rose. And like, yeah, they give you so much. Comes with character portraits, so it has these lovely. Okay, so there's separate pages and not a booklet. Yes, yeah. For these, they're se they're all separate, and they all have like some minor information uh, in the back, and then of course a whole uh, blank space for you to add your own information if you wish. I like that it has the text on the back. So if you're holding it up to the player, they can absorb what the person looks like. And you, you're free to like read off the back of all the pertinent information. Special items card. I don't know if you could see it. And it's, again, it has different magic, a whole bunch of magic items and quest items. And the back, let's see, this dark silver ring gives you all the information you need so that you have to hunt down the um, DMG to find out what they mean. And cool. they also have it in different colors. Like on the top part, it has like all the stat plus stat stuff, like plus one this or uh, whatever effects it has. And then in black, the description, so you can give them whatever lore-based thing if they're lore lovers like me. And just the illustrations are really good. Like Yeah, the art's the fantastic. Are, they're not just like simple renders, like not quick uh, clip art that you get from Google Images. Like these are like well thought out things. Like I'm looking at a, at Natalia Hartfox and she has like the whole steampunk eyepiece. She has a witch's outfit, but it's been steampunked a little bit. And she has a very nice feather cow. See all the details in the cat and the cat's eyes. Like they worked very hard on every single piece of artwork that they have. They have a gooey cube 
rewards so that that's, you could get reward a player with vigilance or tough or give them some um, some bonuses to their skill rolls and so forth. A map, mm. uh, if you could. Um, and just the way you're handling it, that's going to stand up to a few games of being open and passed around to people. Yes. All right, and then oof, the rest of it. Oh, wow. It's oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my god. All right, so. Like seeing the PDF and then seeing that is it's two different experiences. Oh, my god. Yeah. So oh, uh, it's spiral, too. Yeah, which is great because that way you can. Uh, yeah, no binding to break. Yes, exactly. So they, they really thought this through. This is the, uh, the adventure book. Then there's the GM reference book, which that was in the, you got the PDS for those as well. Yep. Um, there are uh, NPC cheat sheet, <laughs> which is pretty cool to have. And probably the, the biggest thing here is the, let's see how thick it is. Uh, and these are all, these are handouts. These are adventure handouts for your players. So like, oh, um, wow. so let me, let me open up so I can show you. So while you're opening that up, um, the yes. thing I've been seeing on Twitter lately and DM Academy on Reddit is people are like, uh, I like buying these modules, but it's bloated with illustrations. Like at least 20 pages are just illustrations that take a page space and like, I gotta, you know, flip through and find something. But the way that this is made, it, as we're seeing as you're opening things up, uh, everything is separated. So the core book doesn't have that bloat. It has just enough illustration to kind of have the DM explain where you are, and then everything else is handouts, which is, you know, really nice. As much as I love illustration, I'm an artist, I love illustration, I like seeing the world and being able to show people and describe it. They did it right. Mm. So I can have my book in front of me, be able to describe it, and then later on I can be like, well, here's, here's this, you can look at it, and it's, and I don't have to hand over like this big DM book and be like, here, here's this little <laughs> whatever picture or this page wide picture. This is a, just a beautiful illustration. So yeah, this has like all sorts of <laughs> images for your players. So if you have players that maybe are not, I, I've met players that sometimes prefer to see stuff than to hear it explained. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is so good. And that's, there's nothing, it's, it's one-sided. You know, so you don't have to worry about like um, um, spoiling anything or I don't know if you come across that where like some handouts, they have too much information on both sides and you kind of have to cover one up, one side up. This doesn't have that problem. I've only done VTT, so I don't um, have mm. the issue, but those illustrations are gorgeous and they're very big. Yeah. Like. You know, uh, uh, some notes for your players and riddles. I love that because you you can they can have it and handle it and like yeah that is so good Worst. that's one thing I lose only playing on uh on roll 20 is I can't physically hand people like a handwritten note I I like their stuff a lot and it's really affordable which is that to me is the the, the big the big um yes from me is that it's very affordable it's less it's less than 50 and you get so much that you could recycle um, outside of this if you want as well. Um, but the ventures here are really good. So I, I didn't experience the first two, but what I did read of this, I'm like, oh, this is a very creepy, um, very story oriented thing. I was mostly grabbed by the way they formatted everything, how they made it easier for DMs like me to like get the information that I need and pass it on to the players or make put stuff, stuff to the side to myself. And I was certainly grabbed by that. Some of the stuff I saw when I was looking through, like I definitely want to grab elements of this or even huge sections and move it into my game. Like, it's very creepy. As someone who played Ravenloft um, and, and uh, I guess I'm a, I'm a horror junkie at times, uh, this is fun. I, 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 have, I have players in mind that I think they would enjoy this a lot. I have a feeling that a lot of gothic horror games and please Clark, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, do better when they start off with low level because there's you're limited in what you can do and what you can fight against and what you can um, guard yourself against and like if you're going into this as a level 20 like you can you know summon your guide I believe or just like bring random people back or talk to ghosts and just like solve the mystery that way when you start as a level one or two it's just like oh no like we can die at any moment and it'll be terrible and then that's that, that the game ends mm. uh, so we got to be careful what we do and, you know, 
parse our um, our inventory correctly. So you know we have three health potions. So make sure to not you know fall down a trap door instead of all right you're alive. Um, I just like I said I want to say bravo to the people who made this just for their organization and making this like. Now I'm gonna choose all of the things you give me based on this like the handouts that they give and how things are organized just because this is my new standard. Like I, I like how they chose the spiral bound and I don't have to worry about breaking binding. I like how they have the portraits and I can like hold it up and show it to a player and have the information on the back. It's, it's perfect. Indeed, indeed. So uh, yes, this is available at uh, gooeycube.com. Um, feel free to let, you know, I'm a big supporter of independent um, companies. So let your local gaming store know that this company exists and order it to them. Um, so uh, yes, everyone, thank you for, for listening in and uh, be safe out there. Yes, be safe.